In my personal view, I think the EU can achieve digital strategic autonomy through the ability and capacity to act. And here I want to make three points. First, in order to be able and capable to act, Brussels should aim to strike the balance between openness and independence, which in my view are the key pillars of sovereignty in the 21st century. But what does that mean? This brings me to the second point. Openness means fostering cooperation with like-minded strategic partners. Independence, in turn, is about sticking to the EU's norms and values, which should influence regulatory frameworks within the EU and possibly beyond. Regulation and standards setting should, however, not only happen through laws, but also through innovation. To this end, the EU needs a strong industrial backbone in the tech domain which can help the EU to transition to a greener and more resilient economy. This brings me to the last point. Promoting digital and tech innovation is easier said than done. Industrial policy can set targets and incentives, but these targets need to be realistic and public spending has to be impact oriented. Capacity building, education and training, as well as talent supply is a long-term process in the tech domain and cannot be bought with money overnight. Therefore, it would be wise to spend public money where barriers of entry are low and where the EU can leverage on pre-existing ecosystems.